Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. So today's tutorial we are going to be covering how to make and edit your own blend shapes. This is a tutorial that's been requested by quite a few people uh, throughout my server and here in the YouTube comments. So unfortunately I don't have just one person to shout out. But to all the people that have requested this tutorial, thank you for requesting this. This is a great tutorial. Um, it'll be kind of a short one. There's not a whole lot to it, but I will do my best to cover everything I can think of to help you guys out. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Alrighty, so like I said, we're going to be focusing on making the blend shapes and we're going to do um, some customizations to the body. Um, just because that's one of the things that I've had quite a few people ask on how to do. Um, on some of my avatars, you'll notice that I'll have options like a bigger, smaller chest, bigger, smaller booty, thighs, stomach, things like that. So just for the sake of um, not showing any unintentional nudity on YouTube, we're going to do her waist. So we're going to make a thinner waist. We're going to make it go inwards. And then we're going to make an option to make it a bit thicker. So we're going to have it on a slider so that whenever you go to make your avatar, uh, you could basically make like a radial or a toggle. Um, having it on the radial would let the person choose. Let me go ahead and draw this out. So whenever you make your blend shapes in Unity, if you set it on a radial, then it will slide forwards or backwards and that person can choose if they want it you know let's say at 50 51 maybe they wanted it five um, and it'll give them the option to choose anywhere in between if you set it to just a normal toggle then they only can choose either one extreme or the other um, so that's the good thing about blend shapes is you can choose if you want it to just be a, it's either thin or thicker, or you can set it up to be um, something in between. Uh, but that is something that is done in the Unity side. Today's tutorial is just going to be focused on how to do it here in Blender to set it up. Um, we will cover the Unity side in a different tutorial, um, so please keep that in mind. But all of these right here, so like um, this is in Pia's um, just regular base, their fit base. These are the blend shapes, right? It's all these different things that you go through and you, that's not one that I wanted, that you can go through and you can adjust on your avatar and like you can add abs to it. And so um, this is a great example of an either or. So it could be, you could set it up to where it's either zero or it's set to that one or 100 value in Unity, or you could have something kind of in between. So it's the beauty of blend shapes. So today we're gonna be covering how to make, like I said, the waist one. So to start with making the blend shapes, you're going to click on your base, come over to this green triangle, or click on whatever mesh it is that you're wanting to, to edit. This could do, um, you could do this for hair, you could do this for heads, accessories. The process is the same across the board. So whatever you're wanting to edit, you'll go ahead and click on that mesh, click on this green triangle, and then hit the plus sign. Okay, and that's gonna create a new key, is what it's called. I'm gonna go ahead and double click and rename this um, smaller waist okay and then the issue that I think a lot of people run into is they'll go ahead and start adjusting or doing whatever they need to and then they can't all right so the issue with that is you're telling that you have this selected it's highlighted but it's set to zero so you're not telling it really what you want to record think of this as like a recording situation so you're gonna to want to, to create this all the way up as you can see nothing is happening right even though we did some edits right so what you have to do is you have to make sure that it is cranked all the way up to one and then go in and do your edits. Now you can do this in edit mode, right? And you can, you know, I'll turn on proportional editing. You know, you can do something like that. I don't really suggest edit mode for um, bunch shapes, but if you're not the most comfortable with sculpting, you know, edit mode is perfectly fine. I personally prefer and always will recommend sculpting just because I feel like it's a little bit more easy to control. Um, so then you can take whatever brush that you're wanting to do. I'm just going to grab this one and make sure that it is set to sphere. Um, so with it set to one, and this is our smaller waist, we can just drag this in, keeping our mirror modifier on. Okay. 
and then we can sit here and sculpt away how we want. So I have finished sculpting. This is a horrible, absolutely horrible sculpt. This does not look good at all. But um, I just kind of wanted to make something drastic so that way you could see the difference. I went through with my um, smooth brush because I accidentally messed up somewhere, which is why I fast forwarded. But um, so yeah, so now that we're done with that, we can go back into object mode and you can see the difference. So with it set to zero, turn all the way down, it's back to normal, all the way up you can see our edits. So again, with that radial option, if you wanted to set it up, they could go somewhere in between. And then, or you could have just one or the other if you wanted to do an either or toggle. So let's make a wider waist blend shape. So we're gonna do the same thing, turn it all the way up, just to kind of give you guys another example. Oops, we're gonna go into sculpt mode, grab our brush. And we're just gonna pull this out a little bit keeping in mind that it is 3D, so it's just currently grabbing this front here, so you might want to come turn the back and kind of smooth it out at a bunch of different angles till you kind of get what you want. You can always use your smooth tool, just be very careful because it is strong. So keep your strength down or it's gonna kind of undo it pretty widely. and then you can always test it. Now we can see the difference. Now something to keep in mind whenever you're making your blend shapes is um, be kind of prepared for what you're wanting to make them for, what your toggles are for, because if we stack these, it's just gonna revert it back, right? So it's not really the best example with this, but just kind of keep in mind that if you have like, um, maybe you're like sculpting your hair inwards for a hat, you know, you could absolutely do that. I don't have the hair separated. Um, this is just for me making assets and stuff. So, but let's say you wanted to make a hair blend shape. I guess I know I spelled it wrong. Um, you know, and you kind of squished it inwards and let's say that she had on a beanie or something. I don't know, some kind of hat. Um, and then you also did something like, oh, well, I have this, this other hat, you know, so like my like hair too or something. I don't know. Something to keep in mind is, like I said, with the waist, like if you stack them, um, not everything is going to stack, you know, maybe the way that you're wanting it to. But something else to keep in mind is we've left that first hair one on while making this second one, right? So if we go and we turn this one down, this one is going to act like as if both of them are on. All right, and then if you turn on this other one, it goes down to what it really, really was whenever, you know, we edited this one since this one was made with them both on. Um, so do keep that in mind if you're going to make a secondary one to make sure that you have all of your other blend shapes off um, because what we actually wanted for hair two was maybe something like this. We maybe wanted it to actually be, you know, like down flat or something. We wanted it to look like that. This one goes inwards. This one like flattens the head, right? But since we had on this first one while we made this second one, it combined them. So do keep that in mind um, whenever you're working on your blend shapes and you're potentially wanting to stack something and have something going um, or have, have an object that has multiple blend shapes for a specific toggle. Just be aware that um, not everything is going to quote unquote stack, you know, work together. And then on the opposite side, sometimes if you leave one on while you're making the other one, they will stack together and it'll mess up the one that you just worked on. So um, that's pretty much a quick rundown. Uh, making your own blend shapes is very easy. Like I said, you can do this in both sculpt mode or in edit mode, whichever one you're more comfortable with. You just gotta hit the plus sign and just make sure that your value is set to one um, before you do any of your edits. And then after it's set and you have it completed, Make sure to go ahead and turn it down just so that you don't accidentally um, double stack anything. Alrighty, and that is it for today's tutorial. So today we covered how to make and edit your own blend shapes. Um, like I said, fairly simple process. You can do it in sculpt mode, you can do it in edit mode. Just be aware that um, you need to have your value set all the way up to one for it to work. 
and um, just make sure that you don't have anything else turned on all the way up to one whenever you are making yours um, so that things don't stack funny. And um, if you're wanting stuff to double stack, you know, and you're wanting, you know, one extreme to be on top of another for some reason, you can just be aware that not every time it's going to work out exactly how you want it. Kind of like how we saw with the waist and the thinner waist, or sorry, with the smaller waist and the larger waist. Um, whenever we turned them both on, it pretty much just reverted it back to normal. So just a few things to keep in mind. Um, blend shapes are fairly easy and it's all up to you on how you want to set it up in Unity. Um, but yeah, I hope this tutorial helps you be able to make your own blend shapes. It's something that I use quite often to add a lot of body, uh, body customization to my avatars um, to give them different um, sizing proportions of the body so that people can customize it. So it's a very, very useful tool, and I hope this helped um, you be able to do that on your own now as well. I hope you have a great day, and I would love to see you guys in the next tutorial.